we know how to add a chart, how do we use them in our dashboards? So we're going to start off with a home dashboard because there's multiple types of dashboards in Scissor Tail. So let's start with the home one because it's the one we see most often. It has things like our pay, our timesheets, our accrual balances. It's our typical home for all employees, whether they're an admin uh, or, or department manager or an employee. And we can change this by security group or mass update. It's made up usually of a bunch of widgets, and we're going to talk more about widgets in the future. But widgets give us access to commonly used items that have personal information or managerial information. It'll vary based on security, subsystems enabled, and the configuration of the widgets. So the home page can be viewed at any time by clicking the home link at the bottom of the hamburger menu, or when you select your company logo at the top of the DAP, and it'll go to the home dashboard if it's set as your first screen in security. You'll also notice, my laser pointer, I've got a start bar here at the top. It can be nice when you need to put in shortcuts for easy access to commonly used items. And then at the very top in the blue, I have my employee banner. It helps improve the visual experience by adding some color and some additional details. Managers have a variety of responsibilities they need to address on a daily basis. And to help them target their most pressing tasks like timesheets, employee birthdays, etc., today's task can be made available on the home screen or on the modular domain dashboards. These quick hit items are hyperlinks that go to the appropriate places in the application. <clears throat> so let's look at how to configure this home dashboard. I have a path to the menu item on the left and to maximize the screenshot, I, I did screenshots here. So when I pick this, um, the first option is company hub. This is a brand new option that just got released in April where you can show a branded company page with key information about your company. You can add in a news feed, embed videos, put in helpful links to company uh, standards, culture, or announcements. And we're going to be working on rolling that out uh, as soon as we can here. <laughs> then we've got custom dashboards. So domain dashboards, which are a couple down, are things like HR and payroll and accruals. But what if you need a custom dashboard? Maybe you need one for COVID. You can add your own custom dashboards in as well. Show My dash Dashboard allows users to create their own dashboard with their own reports and charts. And domain dashboards, those are what I talked about, and we'll look at them in more detail in just a minute. Today's tasks we saw on the previous slide, it's up at the top, it was in the blue, uh, where we could see their birthdays and timesheets to approve and things like that. And then I've got show, start screen on mobile only. It was on the previous screen, uh, the start bar was. But we usually leave it on for both web and mobile so that there's a consistent experience for the employee. And there's a new widget notification. That can be done, we usually turn this on for admins so that you guys get an alert when a new widget type is added into the system. There are hamburger menu settings below. Most clients are using the new UI, but if you are not, there's still a few that use the classic dashboards. If your, your home dashboard didn't look like what I had on the previous slide and you want to make that change, you can send a, a support uh, message in and I'll put a reminder on the last slide uh, to do that. For the bottom of the home dashboard setup screen, you'll see schedules. So administrators can have different dashboards set up for different time frames. So if you want to add something new on a particular date, you can. There's a user can modify. If you want users to be able to modify their dashboards, you can allow them to do that. We usually turn this off. And there's a reset button that will remove any user made changes and apply the last saved admin version. It's usually not an issue because we don't usually allow users to modify this, the dashboards. So that usually takes care of that problem. But let's look further into the edit button. So here's where I can see how the home dashboards laid out and make changes. Notice I've got add buttons, just like we had on some of the other things we've been doing. Keep in mind that there are nine slots on the dashboard that can contain various types of content. If you select add, you'll see where you can add reports or charts to the, to the dashboard, and you can add widgets, and there's a whole bunch of them. There's also, uh, you can also create your own custom content 
just like we saw on the company hub where you can put links to maps and other websites. So here's a list of all those widgets that are currently available. There are new ones added with each release and I put new next to the ones that just came out in April. So keep an eye out for new ones as you see them pop up. Ones in red are typically used for employees and the ones in blue are typically for managers and admins. But I would recommend taking a look at all of them and see which ones might be helpful for your team. Next, let's talk about domain dashboards. So these can be customized to show reports and graphs to employees, managers, and admins to make things easier to access. And keep in mind, this is just like every else in or tell. Clicking the blue words at the top of each graph, which are the name of the report, takes you to that report. So you can dive deeper into the information easily. Those domain dashboards are, high, are outlined up at the top right now. So that's where you see the payroll benefits, HR, et cetera. So let's dive deeper. Similar to what we saw on the home dashboard, any charts or reports can be added to domain dashboards. We use the gear to, to change what domain tabs we see and add new custom tabs. I'm looking at the team domain dashboard and you'll see most of these are reports. I see things that are handy for managers like missing punches, timesheet changes, uh, attendance boards, etc. Here's an example of a payroll domain dashboard. You'll see it looks very different. It has many more charts than we saw on the team dashboard. Once I click in the edit mode, you'll have the same add button we saw on the home dashboards. And the only difference is we can't add custom dashboards front to the domain dashboards, custom widgets to the domain dashboards. Once I exit the edit mode, my changes are saved. And then I can share my dashboards with everyone or make it their defaults, just like you can with reports. All the tiles can be reordered or resized using the three dots or ellipse button. There are tons more we could talk about with charts and dashboards, but that should be enough to get you started on the path to being a report and dashboard champion with Scissor Tail.